you may not like my position or agree, but there are a lot of people I feel are slightly more swayable. It shows the first video is BlackRock confirming they pay for and control the president. The second video is Tucker Carlson exposing Kamala Harris owned by BlackRock. Third, Kamala Harris picked BlackRock executive as her top economic advisor. Voting for Kamala Harris is literally voting for BlackRock to be the president. And people have said that, that, they don't that it is, it is really just voting for the establishment, the elite, the Illuminati, so to speak. They don't want to be in the news. They, they don't want people to talk about them. They don't want to be anywhere on the radar. Why not? I don't know, but I suspect it's probably because it's easier to do things when people aren't thinking about it. All of these financial institutions, they buy politicians. You can take this big ton of money and then you can start to buy people. I work for a company called BlackRock. Meet Serge Barlet. Okay, so we have a shit ton of money and then we buy people and politicians. Next. And to lower the cost of everyday needs like health care and housing and groceries. We're going to end America's housing shortage. You just let in over 10 million people illegally and you put them all on housing vouchers and food stamps and gave them free plane tickets and free cell phones and all of them have to live somewhere. You caused America's housing shortage. If you care about the cost of housing, limit the population. Certainly don't expand it through uncontrolled controlled immigration through open borders was exactly what they did. She's responsible for it. And her donors at BlackRock are buying up the houses in your neighborhood. Yep. And her donors at Airbnb are turning your neighborhood into a completely unmanageable garbage, a place filled with transients where there's no social connection at all between people. Those are her donors. Those are her policies. For her to lecture us on the housing shortage that she caused, it's almost too much. I, I can't sit here. And last... Yeah, Joe Biden's vice president. She partnered up with BlackRock, the company that's acquiring almost all the assets, one of the biggest firms in the world with almost $10 trillion in assets under management. They're getting private information from the Biden administration. I bet you didn't know this. The prospect has learned that Michael Pyle, currently a global chief investment strategist at leading asset manager firm BlackRock, will become part of the Biden-Harris administration in the coming days. Pyle, an Obama administration veteran who has also worked on economic policy with Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign, will become the chief economist, the vice president-elect, Kamala Harris, according to sources familiar with the transition. Powell will be the third former BlackRock official to join the administration. BlackRock confirms they own and buy politicians via the proxy of the guy that worked for them and was bragging about it. Then you have Tucker talking about how Kamala caused the housing shortage, put everyone in on vouchers, and then BlackRock has gone around buying up all of the houses in the neighborhoods, They've had the Airbnbs making a fuck ton of money um, and basically turning your neighbors into very, very temporary renters or migrants that are uh, getting their bills paid by the government. None of it's good. If you want to catch me live, I'm streaming Monday through Friday, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern time over on Rumble. So if you want to see me or you want to support me or you want to connect on social media, all links are in the link tree below. And all announcements will be made in the Freethinkers Rebellion Discord server. So make sure that you join up there.